This video demonstrates how to set up and perform suture removal. Equipment required includes the following. A suture removal pack, which may contain suture removal scissors or a stitch cutter, gauze swabs, small sterile drapes, and dressing forceps. Additional equipment includes sterile adhesive strips, skin cleansing solutions such as sterile saline or antiseptic solution, a dressing, cleaning agents, biohazard bags. While these come in various colors, they can be identified by the universal biohazard symbol. Please check your institution and state regulations to confirm which bag is used. Non-sterile and sterile gloves, the patient's medical record, and a pen. Begin by washing your hands. Check the physician's order, paying particular attention to the specific directions on suture removal. Open and arrange the suture removal pack using an aseptic technique. Open any additional equipment such as sterile gloves, dressings, and the sterile adhesive strips. Put on non-sterile gloves. Confirm the patient's details. Assess the patient's condition and ask about their risks for impaired wound healing, allergies, and their current level of pain. Explain the procedure and obtain verbal consent. Ask the patient to sit or lie comfortably in a position that allows easy access to the sutures. Place a disposable drape underneath or adjacent to the wound. Remove any dressings and expose the wound area. Assume a comfortable position relative to the wound. Ensure that there is sufficient lighting on the suture line. Inspect the wound and the suture line for signs of infection or wound separation. Remove the non-sterile gloves. Wash your hands and then put on sterile gloves. Place a sterile drape on either side of the wound.